Today's video is sponsored by Castlery, and I'm going to be showing you a before and after of like this living room space and also our outdoor patio furniture. So I'm really excited to dive into it. You can like see the before and the after. Stay tuned, but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get started into the vlog. Ooh, this is so heavy. It's been a long road. This guy's finally going man the weather has tore this thing up we've had this for years i think since we got that at least no since we were in georgia so it lasted us through georgia but in georgia this was covered i think a lot of it stems from out here because <laughs> it's just been out you know in the sun we're gonna toss this and just revamp this space because i really wanted something where we could look out this whole deck is getting redone too we sold our dining table got something new coming in we're all coming in over there. A new setup just happening over there. It's going to be really, really nice. Everything will be cleaned up. Keeping this set, I want to try to find new covers maybe for the pillows because they're starting to like slits in them where they're just kind of wearing, you know, like wear and tear type things. All that's going to get redone, but we're focusing on this area right now. So I'm going to show you guys like how I'm going to do it. So let's get it done. Like. <laughs> just break the whole deck, right? Oh, I hope this looks good. <laughs> like half off, half on. Hey, you get off there. Spider. I think we're gonna need a bigger rug. <laughs> okay, now that I look at it from here, um, it's looking like a bigger rug or no rug. <laughs> I went ahead and brought some plants out here. Just ones I've had inside, we got a nice little tomato sprout. That's exciting, it sits right there. So I have onions, tomatoes, peppers, Brussels. Brussels are like going, someone said, said that these look leggy and I have no idea what that means. I should probably look it up, but <laughs> I was like, you know, that is kind of funny. Um, but these will get like bigger, hopefully. Hopefully they're doing what they're supposed to do. Heck if I know. And then I have hot peppers and then these are just flowers that we got for the kids and they get to watch them grow it's so cold i like have three layers on but this says full sun plant three seeds in a group 12 inches apart then thin to one plant per group when the seedlings are two inches tall and there's one oh there's the other one two so we'll put them right in there one fourth of the way and then i have like a whole little Thing. I keep these instead, then we'll do spearmint. So front is spearmint, back is cilantro. Can you hear that? Casey, front, spearmint, back, cilantro, middle, broccoli, left is okra. Now I'm gonna put all these away so I don't lose them. I need to tape them up though because I, I don't think I tape my others and I really need to tape them. Also, before I leave, naturally this would happen to me. I dropped one of the pots right here so. I love that, really. Just naturally had to happen that way. I Are you ready to go outside? <laughs> you see how you look? So cute! I love them. Cool girl! <laughs> you got them? You put them on? You want some help? Let's go right above the ears ready Grace. perfect i love them i'm gonna be better better than you thought i promise i won't jealous you don't deserve it all. i'm gonna be better better than you thought i promise i won't jealous you don't deserve it all. What you doing up there? You trying to find those bunnies? <sighs> Davis cleaning up <laughs> Daisy's mess. <laughs> Almost done with the swing set, but 
We have to do the tube slide, which is three hours. So I don't think it's going to take us three. Mm, it says three hours. I gotta go get the tools. But I didn't really vlog much of it because it's been a process. Tube slide, and then we're done. I've not seen you guys in forever, and that's because I don't know if you could tell by my voice. I have been so sick. <clears throat> um, damn, will this work? I was cleaning last time I was on here, but <clears throat> I have been sick, if you guys can't tell. And I have a doctor's appointment today, actually. We had to go to an urgent care because it was like bothering me how much I couldn't hear out of my ears. And like my ears aren't painful right now they're just like muffled and i can't hear out of them i've been dealing with that for like the last seriously so the muffled things in the last week and then the last like two weeks i would say like has been like allergy central like just awful <clears throat> but this ear stuff is driving me crazy and i just have not been in a great mood from it if you've been following me on instagram you know but anyways i want to show you guys because today is an exciting day I got some new rugs in. Unfortunately, one of them's too small and it doesn't come in a bigger size, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I feel so loud because this ear is like so muffled. A new couch coming in. We have a new dining table coming in and we have a new little sitting area set coming in that I can't wait to show you. And I also wanna show you how my garden's doing because I'm learning as I go. Oh, my tomato plant is knocked over. I'm gonna have to go fix that. We can go do that now because I gotta go take some stuff off the porch too. I gotta take some stuff off the porch anyway since they're gonna put a dining table out there. Actually, I wonder if they're putting it out there. Let me actually go show you the garden because I need water. I haven't watered in a couple days. <gasps> I see a daisy girl. So, this is everything. Lavender's not doing so hot. I'm not very good at this lavender situation and I'm learning about the rest of it. So, I was over watering for a little bit there I didn't realize it, so now that I know, I've been changing my watering habits, so I'm hoping that it'll help. I also got like a little meter that tells you um, how much like water's in it. I'll show you guys. But the strawberries are the one thing that are doing really good. <laughs> like we are, we've already picked like, I don't know, maybe 10 strawberries, and they've been doing so well. They're just growing so nicely. I'm hoping the blueberries will come in soon. They're getting there. I don't know if you could tell. And then down here, we've got like more tomatoes coming in, onions. The lady told me that my asparagus weren't going to grow for a year. But those look like two asparagus, don't they? What is that? Just another day. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so loud. Tomatoes are looking good. Only two of them, though. Here's a couple more. I'm, I've definitely been overwatering these, so I'm trying to like watch what I do. I added some marigolds in to help with like pests, you know, those annoying pests. These have been hard too. I'm gonna add more soil like right here. Anyways, look at that. Do you see that? I came out here one day, y'all. I was shook. I was like, she told me they wouldn't grow for a year. Are these like false advertisement? Is there something wrong with these? Cause they're growing. I don't know. These Brussels sprouts are growing. These were my seeds. These I got from another place. Um, that had them already like started like a greenhouse. I'm excited that mine's actually growing like this I clearly have them close together. So hopefully they work out, you know, hopefully they work out bell peppers were looking good They're not looking too great now. So I'm hoping they grow back. I don't know what I did to them to make them so upset um, Yeah, these aren't doing good cilantro <laughs> the Cilantro mint and hot peppers. They're supposed to look like this Even this isn't looking too great. My okra is kind of coming in you know, it's a learning curve. We're not relying on this, but you know, it'd be nice if it worked out. And these are shallots too. But anyways, that's what it looks like. My blackberries are actually doing good, which I'm excited about. A bird would shit blackberry bush, little birds. See all the little flowers. Look, oh, look at it go. 
man, if there's ones that I want to really work out, it's definitely the berries because berries are so freaking expensive at the store. I'm like, come on. And it's in a pot because, first off, the lady told me we could definitely make it work in a pot and it keeps it like more contained. If you plant it as a bush, you gotta really be on top of it. And then this over here, I made, I think a couple weeks ago, I went and got all these and just kind of arranged them. These flowers too, these little cuties, they smell so good. So <clears throat> the ones I bought, so this one right here, they're supposed to like drape over and look really pretty. So I have two of them here. And then I have two of this little bundle, which are, what are these called? I keep the tabs because I want to know how much water and sun they need so I don't mess it up. Um, then there's these for the bigger floaty ones. And I just love it. Like I love the like how full it is and I'm hoping that these drape over really well because I think some people put these in like hanging baskets but I just have mine here so we'll see how they turn out oh no oh no what's going on with your leaves I need to get my plant app out so it could tell me if I've been trying to baby them you know I have them on a little rolly thing give them some sun but man those white flowers Oh my gosh, they smell so good. They smell, I would do a whole pot of just those. This is where I keep like some of my gardening stuff. So this is a thing that um, I use for the moisture to like see how much moisture each plant is getting. So let's take a look at this one. See, Lena, it's got some moisture. The lavender is probably dry as a doorknob. Mm-hmm. Some people said to cut off the lavender that is dead too, but is that dead? <laughs> I can't tell. All right, like, let's look in here. This is moist. Moist again. See, what I don't understand, like, what if the top is dry? Do you need to water it then? You feel me? Moist. Moist. So these could use, like, maybe a little water. A little moist. Let's see what we got going on here. <gasps> Dry? Oh, I'm going to water you up. I'm going to water this up. I also need to drain out this guy because it kept, it keeps getting full from the sprinklers. And I don't want, I don't like it when water just sits here because then that's when it gets like super gross. This is a heavy duty little guy though. Oh, I think I got it from Target. A while ago got done just in time because the delivery people are here I'm so freaking excited the kids are gonna be so excited to come home and have the couch because they haven't had the couch in like a week not a big deal but they like to hang out on it play on it jump on it all that stuff so I'm excited to get this new one in and the dining table for outside now if it could only get warm I'm so excited to partner with Castlery to show you guys the new Dawson sofa that I just got in, as well as the outdoor patio set. I'm working with them to revamp the space and kind of show them to you guys because their pieces are amazing. I actually got an Instagram ad from them like last year and I fell in love with their pieces just because they're all so pretty. They're minimal, but like very natural looking, warm, cozy. Just some of my favorites. Now this couch, the Dawson, you can kind of do different things. You can do the three section I have and then have like the little ottoman or you can have a shorter one. It all just depends. You can kind of customize it to what you want. The threading on this couch is really nice too. So it's a basically a cream couch, but the actual threading in it is like warm tones. So it has a little bit of dimension. It's not like a flat white couch, which is great. And it's so easy to put together. They delivered it, I unpacked it, put it all together. Easy peasy, comes with two pillows, which I feel like, well, it technically comes with five, but like two extra pillows, I would say. It's really easy to put together. It's such a comfortable couch and the kids love it. I feel like it, look, like it looks so much smaller on camera. This is definitely deeper than our last sofa. It is gorgeous. I know it's like similar to what we had. And if you want an like idea of kind of like the fabric we had on our last one, it was like this. It just wasn't really good fabric. Um, <clears throat> I just didn't like it. And the colors a little bit like, I don't know, like a creamy gray or no, yeah, like a creamy grayish, I would say. This is perfect. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's beautiful. I love that threading throughout. Like that's the one thing that I love the most. It has like a little bit of dimension. It's not just like stark cream to go with the rest of the room. 
I'm telling you, this is huge. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't look as big. It's definitely bigger than our last one, like depth wise. So that's what makes it feel a bit bigger. And once I get my rug situation figured out, like I'm gonna order probably one more rug to go underneath to layer with this one. And eventually we're gonna have drop down shades that go here, like automatic shades. We're gonna get rid of those blinds too. It's just gonna look so pretty, but I love this couch. I need to move this big box, hold on. Just a little bit. I need to break it down, but I think it's Oh, it's gonna be so pretty once I get my rug in here and kind of move some things around I want to do something different with like the lamp situation I'm not sure what but I'm not loving the freestanding lamps I was thinking maybe like a side table like on each side of the couch or something And you can't really center the couch onto here because then the kids area gets blocked off So we just don't worry about that the couch is actually centered on the like this part right here um, I don't know why he didn't really center this on the wall, but it's not centered on the wall So that's why it's a little bit off, but you get what you get. You don't throw a fit You feel me? Put it back. Good job Good job So this is a Sorrento outdoor dining set. I don't think I've ever had so many people request a link for something before, like outdoor patio furniture wise, because oh my gosh, everybody loves this. And I totally understand I'm obsessed with it too. And this was the easiest patio furniture to put together ever. So the chairs were already put together. You just had to unpack them, which was amazing. And then the table was pretty easy too. You just had to unpack it and then attach the two legs. But the wood top on this is just so beautiful. Like the wood accents just really make it pop. It's very outdoorsy. And I just love the way it looks. I feel like it really made this space look so much more elevated. Like this is the star of the show of this patio. It is beautiful. And then you'll see in a second, I have the Sorrento outdoor lounge chair set where it's just two comfy chairs. You see it right here by the dining chair. This is a great option to have like by the dining set. So if there's not enough room, people can sit there and it's just so cozy. Phase one of getting all this out here, it seems like it is about to just downpour. But luckily, got it put together. Super easy to put together, by the way. Chairs are already put together. Just had to unwrap them. The table is easy, just two legs. Um, I have a couple other things to go with this. I'm gonna add some flowers and stuff over here that I'll show you guys, but this is so pretty. I love it. And those two chairs, I have a plan for them, but I kind of like them right there. We'll, we'll figure it out. But this is so far, but... <laughs> Now we're gonna take a break because it is getting a little windy out here. Filling this water thing. Oh gosh. <laughs> Now I'm going to try to tackle out here and get all that stuff because I want to try to maybe go to the dump today and get all these boxes broken down, all of that. And I also was out earlier and I grabbed more flowers, so I want to pot these as well. Yeah, I got some new flowers, Bumblebee. So I want to pot these. Um, the white ones are the ones I was telling you in the other pot that I feel like smells so good. And then I saw these purple ones and I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to pot them and I plan on kind of putting them around here. I'm loving the way this outdoor set is like just coming together. I just absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. All the seating, because we do host quite a few things and I just love the way it looks. And this umbrella is huge. I'll show you guys. I posted on Instagram, but it's ginormous. So I also got some new stuff for the table that I want to see if it looks good um, from Walmart. So I want to like get all this broken down, dry off whatever's left on here, and then put the place setting together, see if I love it. Because if not, obviously I'll return it, but I think it's gonna look really pretty. So that's what I'm gonna work on for just a little bit. Okay guys, here is the finished outdoor area. I love it. I got like a little rug for the chairs over there. This table is just stunning. It looks so 
beautiful it was easy to put together it, like wasn't a hassle these chairs I love too they're like low maintenance just take the cushions off and store them I do have like um, covers for all of these don't mind <laughs> the construction in the back it's crazy I'll update you guys on all of that in the next vlog Rose, this feels so good I potted those flowers by the way they look so pretty but anywho I've got this little seating area here that I love I think it's so cute and I just love this entire set we have the really big umbrella that covers the entire table and it just is so pretty with the mountain let me show you from this angle look at this from this angle oh you see the mountain right there that is just beautiful we got the fountain fixed <laughs> a side of construction how freaking nice is this love being out here we've ate out here already it's just been so beautiful love it so 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 much